Safari is the web browser that comes with every Mac. In this video, we'll show you how to make the most of four great features. Top sites, bookmarks, tabbed browsing, and full history search. When you open Safari, you'll see a new feature called Top Sites. It's a smart engine that gives you a snapshot of your most frequently visited sites. Simply click a thumbnail to visit a site. If you want to return to Top Sites from any site, click the Top Sites icon. A star in the top right corner of a site tells you that new content has been added since your last visit. You can customize your Top Sites by clicking the Edit button. Just drag the page thumbnails around to change the order. And if you want to see a few more or a few less top sites, click here. Click the push pin to make sure a site always stays on the grid. A blue push pin indicates that the site will remain in place. To remove a site, just click the X. Your next most frequently visited site will take its place. Safari 4 makes managing bookmarked sites easier than ever. Creating a bookmark is as simple as clicking the plus icon to the left of the web address. Name the bookmark, select the folder, and you're done. You can keep all your favorite sites handy in the bookmarks bar. Clicking any of them loads your pages instantly. You can also drag and drop a URL right into the bookmarks bar. Click on the bookmarks icon to see your bookmarks library. With Safari 4, you can browse your bookmarks using CoverFlow, just like you view your music in iTunes. Click the history icon to see the sites that you visited, sorted by each day. Scroll through until you see the site you're looking for and then just click on it. Tabbed browsing makes it easy to switch between multiple web pages without opening a lot of windows. You can open a new tab by clicking the plus icon on the right side of the tab bar. If you're on a web page and you want to open a link in a new tab, simply right click on it and select Open Link in New Tab. If you have a folder of favorite websites that you've added to the bookmarks bar, you can open all of them in tabs at the same time, making it fast and easy to surf your favorite sites. And you can easily drag tabs around to put them in any order, or just drag one out to see it in a separate window. Full History Search makes it easy to find a site that you visited before even when you don't remember the URL. If you only remember a word or a key phrase from a web page that you visited, type it into the search box. Matching sites will be displayed in CoverFlow and as a list below. When you find the one you're looking for, just click on the CoverFlow thumbnail to load the web page. Safari 4 lets you see everything you do on the web in a whole new way. To download it, and get even more information on the new features of Safari 4, go to apple.com slash safari. In every Finder window, the sidebar gives you one-click access to hard drives, DVDs, and other devices connected to your Mac, as well as to computers and servers on your local network. It lets you quickly open the applications, files, and folders that you use regularly. And the sidebar can even help you find documents without having to manually search through folders for them. The sidebar is divided into four sections. First is Devices. The Devices section lets you see all the drives on your Mac. That includes your internal hard drive, iDisk online storage that MobileMe members can use to store and share documents, and any CDs or DVDs that you put into your Mac. Just click to see what's on any disk. 
The Devices list also shows any USB flash drives or external hard drives connected to your Mac. When you're finished using a DVD or external hard drive, just click the little eject icon to the right of its name. If you're working on a network, the Shared section of the sidebar shows you all the computers and servers you can access. They show up automatically, so it's really easy to collaborate with others, whether they're on a Mac or on Windows. Click the computer or server that you want to access, type in the username and password, and then you can drop files onto their computer, drag files from theirs to yours, or even open a document over the network to work on it directly. Places gives you instant access to items that you use all the time, like the desktop, your home folder, applications, and documents. They're all just one click away. And you can drag any other folders, files, or applications to the Places section of the sidebar, and they'll appear in every Finder window. Smart folders in the Search For section automatically find and organize files by time or by type of document. If you click the Yesterday icon, the Finder shows everything you worked on yesterday, even if you don't remember everything you did on your Mac yesterday. And if you click on the All Images folder, you can see just the image files that you have on your Mac. If you have more questions about the Finder, check the built-in Help on your Mac by switching to the Finder, clicking the Help menu in the menu bar, and entering Finder in the search box. Every new Mac comes with Boot Camp, which lets you boot up and run Windows natively as if it were a PC. Boot Camp Assistant, which prepares your Mac for running Windows, is in the Utilities folder. Once you launch Boot Camp Assistant, the next step is to decide how much space on your hard drive you want to dedicate to Windows. Just slide the partition until you see the size that you'd like. Then, click Partition, and Boot Camp creates your Windows partition while keeping your Mac partition safe. Now, just insert your Windows disk and click Start Installation. Once installed, when you want to boot to Windows, just hold down the Option key at Startup and choose Windows. After you've finished working in Windows, just restart your Mac and it will boot to Mac OS X. If you want to run Mac OS X and Windows side by side, you can purchase Parallels Desktop for Mac or VMware Fusion. By installing one of these applications along with the Windows installation CDs, you'll have the flexibility of running the occasional Windows program next to your open Mac applications without having to restart your Mac. If you need to run Microsoft Office, there's a version available for the Mac that's fully compatible with Office files created on Windows computers. And you can easily browse and share files with PCs connected to your network. With all of these options, it's easy to work with Windows on a Mac.